Hi, I'm Casey, and today you're going to learn how to truss a turkey. It's actually way easier than, than you might think, uh, and it's a really good way to impress people when you're hosting them over uh, for Thanksgiving dinner at your house. So let's get started. Um, first, you want to have your stuffing ready, uh, and second, you got to have your twine. This is the most important bit of trussing a turkey. Without this, you're lost. So any, any cooking twine can do, uh, you can get it at cooking supply stores or Safeway, uh, easy stuff. And the turkey, the standard measure is like one pound of meat per person. So if you're gonna host 15 people, maybe 15 pound turkey, although that's kind of big. And when you buy a turkey from the store, it's also gonna have all the giblets and organs and you know nasty bits kind of already inside. And we're gonna take those out, and you can save those for, for later. So after you've got that all nice and cleared out, you're gonna grab that stuffing that you've already prepared, and you're gonna stuff your bird. All right, so now that your bird's all stuffed, you wanna get that twine, and go about halfway. Uh, you know, stretch it out and get, get to the halfway point. And what you want to do to start is you want to find that, that neck. You can kind of see the little bone, like where that neck used to be. And, that, and that's going to be, that's gonna be your, your anchor point for the whole truss. So it's really important that you know where that is and you get your twine around that uh, really securely. And then you want to bring that twine around. And when you bring that twine around, you want to be sure that you get those wings uh, securely underneath. And then you're going to come around to right where that hole is that you put all that stuffing in. And this is going to be the anchor knot for the whole truss. So just tie it like a normal, you know, up and over knot. And make it real tight. So now that you've got this all nice and tight, you want to take this string and pass it underneath each one of the legs. So then, kind of lift the turkey up and you're gonna pass those strings underneath and make a little X. And now that you've got that uh, underneath, you're gonna bring it up and you're gonna, cross the, you're gonna cross the strings again. And when you pull on that, that's gonna pull those legs in nice and tight. So now that you've got it here, pass each one of the strings underneath the leg. So they're gonna come out in the middle, right, right above that hole that you stuffed this, uh, the stuffing in. So now that you've got that nice and tight, it's time to tie your knot. And again, any old knot will do. But you wanna do that twice. So it's real nice and secure. Now it's all secure and it's nice and tight and you're ready to roast. All right, so now that you've got it all trussed and ready to roast, uh, there's some options about, um, about you know, how you're gonna actually like season this to roast it. Uh, I'm just gonna do a basic oil, salt, and pepper, but you can get real creative. You can stick herbs under the skin, uh, rosemary and thyme, there are always good options. But this is, this is just gonna be a basic kind of uh, rub down so, so it's ready to roast. So it's been about three hours or so, so we're gonna take a look at this turkey. See how it's looking? I got my handy dandy thermometer. I'm just gonna pull it out, and you wanna, you wanna stick it right kind of underneath the wing uh, where there's the most meat. Let it read. All right. So it says it's about 158, uh, which is right where we want it to be. So at this point, we're gonna pull this out. Wow, look at that. Some good turkey right there. <laughs> 